I'd like to know whether the panel could give uh, concrete examples of how shared services can enhance the sh student experience. Tim? Yeah, well, uh, let me go a bit further, because the title is about student experience, isn't it? So I really want to um, go beyond the institution. Uh, the one thing, that I've, I've already plugged the network, I'll say it again, I mean, it's very important that we give our students the most fantastic experience as far as ITT communications go, as good if not better than the world they're going to go and work in. So that's, that's the first thing that a shared service provides. My particular areas of interest are video and moving image. And I mean, I just say two things. Video conferencing, you know, oh, yawn, yawn, yawn. I, I just saw the um, London Standard last night. Now, this is old news. You know, they're making news about this. This stuff's been going on in Sweden for years. It's been going on in the States. Here we and, are, big news. And on. also, it's a very negative take on it. It's yeah, like, yeah that, that's what, that, and that really annoys me. <laughs> um, Even online. Gosh, yeah. just remember, just have to watch our references. Time. Yes, yes. Um, because, because it is so fantastic. I'll tell you what annoys me even further, is some of our colleagues in our community refuse to use video conferencing. What's going on? What are we teaching the kids that are going out into the world about our attitudes towards technology and tomorrow's world? And, and so, for example, one example would be a bit of teaching I got involved in where we had two FE colleges, two HEIs, groups of students in filmmaking, and they got me involved for some reason. They had to have the old guy there to tell what it was in the years gone by. And, <laughs> but, it, but it was a most fascinating experience. As I was sharing my experiences, they were sharing with me. But then when you saw the interaction between the four different groups who would never ever meet, but they were all doing their own projects, and, and you, you, a clever mathematician will work out the permutations of that. But that was really <coughs> exciting. I, was, I went out with a real buzz. Yeah. And it sort of made me go home thinking, I'm really glad I worked for Janet because look at what we've enabled and the experience those kids have had. So I can push sharing through technology, quality through technology and so on. Well, like, let me come to another one that really fizzes with, with okay. the students. Uh, for next to no cost at all, we put a streaming server on the backbone of Janet. Not for faculties, but for student unions, for student television, because I get quite involved with student television. Mm. And that means that they can put their material up, put the Loughborough rugby matches up, which are fantastic. What we are doing is we're empowering students, we're enriching their experience, okay. we're allowing them to do fantastic things that they can then go out into the, into the workplace and use that experience sure. to do. And that's for next to nothing, yeah. but through a shared service that's sitting there. Chris, examples from, from Lon London yeah. where, where the student experience has been enhanced. Well, I've got a very concrete example. One of our um, shared services is known as the Careers Group. But if you walked into any of our colleges, you would not see the Careers Group anyway. But it's one of the, one of the best um, shared services we have. Um, what it provides is a breadth and a depth of, ex of, of expertise in careers advice. Um, it has um, people located within colleges, but um, organisationally they are, they are part of a much larger infrastructure. First, second, third tier expertise. They have access to a much larger employers database. They have access to careers fairs and all of the massive infrastructure you get through um, scale, um, yet it's honed for a particular audience. And at Loughborough? Andrew? It's not actually apart an example. Rugby, mate. Well, apart from the rugby, it's not actually an example of that, but it's from a, another institution who should remain nameless. But uh, oh, go on. Anyone who's ever tried to manage a joint honours scheme, uh, a, a diverse one across the university, where people can combine, say, business and geography from quite different disciplines, will know that the students on programmes like that often feel somewhat adrift. They can fall between two stools. So if you have a central unit and there's a fine distinction between cent shared services and centralisation, by the way. If you have a central unit which gives the, the one front door for students to go to, mm. and generally that's an important principle for shared service organisation, one front door for inquiries, one route to, to deal with things, to, to get problems solved, and quick resolution of those inquiries, which gives a clear focus, and that's what enhances the student experience.